So I made this drilling guide on the drill press and I've aligned it exactly to where the uh, filled in bits of epoxy are underneath in the front so that I can drill these holes exactly perpendicular to the front bulkhead here and make sure that they go through um, only through the epoxy filler and not into the wood. Looks pretty good on this side. This is a little bit high, but I think it should be okay. I'll just put a bunch of epoxy in there. I think when I drilled this uh, hole, it was just too low. And it's pretty good on that side. Of course, the most important test. It's a little bit tight, but it fits in. Backing plate there. Lovely. I've got this cap all uh, epoxied and uh, filleted in, so no water will be getting in here, I hope. I've done an extra coat of epoxy in the ballast tank, so there should be three coats of epoxy in here. And I've gone around uh, these bits a lot with extra epoxy, so there's probably like four or five coats of epoxy under there. So, no water hopefully will be leaking out of the ballast tank and uh, nothing will be getting into the wood, hopefully. I just need to clean all these sections out and then get ready to paint them. What I don't want to forget, and I've written it on this piece of paper, remove screws before gluing. Well, there's a screw there, and there's a screw there, there's a screw there, and there's a screw over there. And it's probably time to remove them. To be honest, I think, uh, the boat is kind of epoxied down to the frame right now, so I need to get those out. And the problem is, is I accidentally epoxied over them without thinking. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'll be able to get them out. But I have some screw removal tools, so I'll give those a crack. Paint. So I bought some paint the other day. Here it is. I've got some international perfection undercoat and overcoat. The undercoat being white and the uh, regular coat, I guess, is snow white. Just like my soul. You might look at the boat and go, what? You're nowhere near ready to paint. And you do have a bit of a point, except for one thing. I'm basically ready to glue the seat tops on and the cockpit sole on. I want to paint inside those to make them all nice and extra protected and also to make them white so that when I open the hatches there'll be more light in there and I'll be able to see in and it's not strictly necessary since everything has got uh, at least two coats of epoxy some of it has three um, and uh, there'll be no direct exposure so the UV light from the Sun can't degrade the epoxy yeah I want to do it anyway and you know it'll be good practice for getting my paint technique down so where I want to paint today is just uh, in all these cockpit lockers here. What I have to do first though with these uh, sections 
is uh, wash them out with uh, warm water just to make 100% sure that there's none of that uh, amine blush substance in there. Got my paint down here. Got uh, part A and part B, which is the hardener. Directions. Uh, mixing ratio. Part A, 3 to part B, 1. By volume. So, this one doesn't say you can use weight. So I won't be using the scales. I'll be using one of my handy uh, mixing cups. Mix part A and part B. Stir thoroughly and allow to stand for 10 to 15 minutes before using. Okay. 